Hi, I'm Bjorn from Skeno. We have a little task today. I want to share with you several projects using different yarns with different rows, different needles, different weights. And uh, it's very, very easy. Uh, all you need to do is just overcome your fear. Just put the yarn together and start a little swatch. I will show you how to use the different yarns without having all the ends to stitch in. It's very simple, knitting lengthwise or a triangle shawl using different yarns. So follow me in my studio and I will share my sample with you and I hope you will learn something. Like I hope always. See you there. My first sample shows you a very, very simple uh, usage of different yarns. This is a triangle shawl. It's on my, from my stash. It's an older model, but I love it because I like the color and the easiness of the shawl. So it is a triangle shawl. You start knitting from the neck down to the tip, increase line in the center. And what it shows is just I combined three yarns together. It is 100% merino lace. It's what the color comes in, the green, the yellow. The second yarn is a brushed baby alpaca. And the third yarn is a very thin tensile. So the tensile and uh, the wool and um, the baby alpaca, it works really nicely together and it's a nice grip. It's all just garter stitch. So you know this already. There's no secret to this. Just wind a ball with three yarns together, or even better, keep the yarn separate because if you wind it together on a ball, one yarn could be longer than the other one, and then you always have to deal with some loops. My second sample is our two yarn scarf. It's very simple. Here is uh, our boucle yarn and our i cord yarn here, which one gives the color. It is very, very cozy and nice. And it's all garter stitch, believe it or not, but it show, it's, it's kind of a rib here. So you have two rows in, uh, it looks like it's purled, and two rows it's knitted. But it's all garter stitch, it's all knitted. But the secret is you knit one row with a boucle and one row with the uh, i cord yarn here. This is a Kit Mohair nylon yarn. And because you knit only one row, you have to slide the needle, the circular needle, of course, to the side where the yarn is. So when you start knitting from this side over, you end up here. And if the other yarn hangs on the other side, you just slide the, ne slide the needle through. And then you knit the front again. And then both are on the other side. Then you turn your work around, you use the boucle, end up on the other side, slide the needle, and you knit with the second yarn. This creates an edge. There will be no fringes because the yarn changes are being uh, just carried on the side. And from one row to the another one, there will be no loop. So this is a nice thing. It's all knitted, even if it shows it looks like two rows uh, knit two rows purl and two row knit. So if you have two yarns, they have to go. Or if you would like to go to our website and look for the two yarn scarf, we still have them. It's on sale. Our birdie shawl is to see here now. It is uh, lengthwise knitted. So you cast on the long way and you have a lot of crunch on your needle so when you turn it around it's only this one is the length on your lap so that is a good thing and um, here are five different yarns being used for different numbers of rows and it is a lazy knitting as you see but it's nice and has a nice memory and the yarn changes are creating uh, our fringes here and there are two rows, three rows, uh, alternative, sometimes one row. So you can play around with the yarn you have. The only thing what you have to watch is that if you want fringes on both sides, on the short side of your scarf, you just have to figure out that the yarn changes are equal on each side. 
if you don't and you have yarn changes only on one side, you still have an option to tie in fringes on the other side. But actually, it's better to have their fringes coming out of your work. And this is really nice. Sometimes the needle is being um, and it needs to slide through to the other side where your yarn is. So do the map before and find out how many rows do you want to knit or how many rows you can knit or just go and look for our birdie shawl. It's all there for you. Our lengthwise scarf is next. This is all garter stitch and we have a total of six different yarns so you can see it here is the glitter, here is the next glitter and the next. So this here is one yarn repeat, here is the next yarn repeat and the third. And each yarn is being used for three rows. So you knit from this side over to the other, come back and knit back again and you change yarn on the other, other side. And the yarn changes are creating the fringes as you can see here. We have not tied them and they are just open, they are barely cut even. So this is a very, very good example for using the same or almost the same weight of yarn. This is all DK, there's a boucle, uh, a merino with silk, a glitter and a bamboo yarn. So uh, this goes all very well together and you see it lays flat, it's not making any waves. So this is a very, very simple uh, way to uh, knit up some yarn uh, for this lengthwise scarf. And um, you cast on the long way, you can do a little swatch and uh, find out how many stitches you need for the uh, long way. Or you just go to our website and you see the lengthwise scarf. We have a few feather and fan afghan in our sales department on our website. And uh, all of them are knitting, uh, they are done with several different yarns, uh, most of the time the same length. And here you can see this is a feather and fan pattern. And uh, exactly, you can see here is the fuzzy eyelash yarn, and here is it again. So it goes from here to here. Twelve yarns are being used for three rows again, so the fringe is on both sides. Uh, it is knitted the long way. The weight is between DK, so here the glitter yarn is slightly thinner and uh, the most bulky yarn is the eyelash yarn here. So, but they all go r pretty well with each other and they don't fight each other or making waves. Um, you should not exceed for for a very very big yarn and a lace yarn it would not work very well together but you are the designer you make a deci decision uh, which yarn you want to put a, put together for a project so again three rows each 12 yarns are being used and you have here the repeats it is knitted the length the long way and the fringes are on the short side of this afghan or throw or whatever you're going to do. A shawl in this way would be nice too. And uh, easy way, just the basic uh, feather and fan pattern with 18 stitches for one uh, repeat. And I want to mention again, your cast on and your bind off need to be the same length. So do a small piece of binding off and measure if this is accordingly to your cast on has the same length. Otherwise, you will be angry about what comes out. One side will be too short. So this is our feather and fan afghan. We have it in worsted weight, DK weight, and there will be a third one uh, using a different uh, weights of yarn. So it's easy and you can create. Our favorite shawl is a knitting kit with three different yarns. We have the boucle, an I-cord yarn, and the glitter yarn, and the triangle shawl starts at the tip, and it's knitting up and down, and the increase line is in the center. And the same way than our uh, um, afghan before, 
three rows which each yarn so you have fringes on the right side and on the left side so going to the center turn around going back and back to the other side change yarn and you can tie nice uh, tassels here or fringes this is very simple and um, the three yarns are just forming a repeat you see from here to here to here and when you here's uh, something you have to really watch because when you start on the tip you are reaching and I will stretch this out for you you will reach the neckline which one is here and then you stop increasing because you have to finish the left wing and the right wing and out of the sudden instead of having fringes on both sides we don't want to have fringes on the neckline therefore the repeat has to be changed so you're using instead of three rows for each yarn you are using four rows for each yarn you start here coming back and forth and you end here and it will be uh, it will create only fringes on one side because there should be no fringes on the uh, shoulder line. Nobody will see that this is out of the sudden has four rows and the first part has three rows so I don't think you, you really can see it that this is different than here. The color plays the first and uh, the rows nobody will count and you have the fringes there where you want it. This is a nice crocheted with leftover yarn a nice crocheted line here for the, where the wear is on the shoulder. So if you like a triangle shawl, start from the tip, change the yarn every three rows, five rows, seven rows, and then if you come further and further to the shoulder line where you have to divide the shawl in the left and the right wing, you need to go to an even number of rows to have the fringes on the side where you want to have them. So, these are just a few samples to knit with different yarns. Uh, on our website you can uh, look for uh, several items if you like what I just shared with you. And uh, most of them are even in the sales department. Maybe we see you there. Thank you for watching and have a good time.